Hopefully it'll be 2 0 victory for North End. And uh, goal scorers? Uh, David Healy and uh, perhaps Ian Anderson with the Mezzy Run. Mezzy Run. Have you, have you, so what are you it's all about, Birmingham? Uh, yeah, uh, obviously they've got strength coming forward. Uh, they showed that on Saturday, on Sunday even. And uh, hopefully the defence will cope with them better. I thought in the second half on Sunday they, they were. Uh, only show up a striker in the box to score him more than they did. But hopefully if the defence can cope with them, then we can break forward, get up to the front men. And you're going to bash that drum this afternoon, aren't Certainly you? am. David Moyes, what score do you think is going to be tonight's game? I believe it'll be a 2-0 victory for Preston North End. Of the boys here you got on your side tonight, um, who do you think is going to be the goal scorers? I think David Healy and Jonathan Mackin tonight, just for a change. I'm just going to ask you about your thoughts for tonight's game. How do you think it's going to go? Well, I think we're going to win, because 1-0 up, I mean, any other game, if you're 1-0 up, you're thinking, we've got to get another one, haven't you, you know, be safe, so the pressure's on definitely on Birmingham. And what score do you think it's going to be, then? Well, I wouldn't say it's going to be a 10-1 or all like that, you know, I'd probably say, what, 2-1, 3-1. 3-1. 3-1. And the goal scorers? Macken. Macken. Macken and Macken. <laughs> and Macken. Yeah, and Macken. Yeah. Uh, 3-1. 3-1. Goal scorers? Macken, Ealy. And Jackson, if he plays. Do you think um, they've already beaten us twice already in the league? Do you think that was only bearing on tonight's game no, at all? Not once or ever. 2 0. And who do you think is going to be the goal scorers? Ely and Macken. Good one. Thanks very much. 3 0. 3 0. And who do you think is going to score? Um, Sean Gregan for a hat trick. <laughs> oh, no, sorry. Sean for a hat trick. <laughs> oh, that can't be bad. So you think it's going to be an easy win for Preston tonight? Good stuff. Thanks very much. So what do you think the score's going to be for tonight's game? 3-1, no doubt, to us. And who do you think is going to be the goal scorers? Macken 2, Healy 1. Are you, you sort of unsure with Birmingham actually beating us three times already this season? Do you think we, obviously you think we can do it? Yeah, the first one down at their place, we were robbed with a penalty. And last week wasn't Preston, it was uh, just an imitation. We played a different game, so we're going to sort well, it out. David Moyes was trying to keep the, the score line down, wasn't it, for, for tonight's game. It's a lot of rain. Do you think the, the, the rain, wet pitch now will suit our game tonight? Um, it might do. I just hope they try a few free kicks and keep them low, get them skimming over the ground a bit. Try something different instead of putting it in the air. OK, gives it a little flash of that flag there for St. David Moyes. David Moyes. United supporters, Liverpool has been everywhere. Valencia, you see it last night. Scores then for tonight's game, lads. 2-0. Goal scorers, who do you think is going to be? Uh, Healy and Macken. Yeah, that's good. Who do you think? Healy and Macken. Um, I think it's going to be 5-0. Um, I think Preston will win. What sort of scoreline do you think they're going to go for? 2-0. 2-0. Goal scorers? Uh, Macken and Anderson. Are you worried about Birmingham in any way, shape or form? No. 2-1 Preston. And then what? After that, if it's 2-1, it's 2 all on the night. Oh. We'll get, an extra, get a goal in extra time. All right, goal scorers. John Macken, 2, Ely 1. Do you think it'll be uh, difficult? They've already beaten us three times this season. Do you think we can take them on the night? Doesn't yeah, of course we can. It's the fourth game that matters. Yeah. And you're all going to card if we get through? Of course we yeah, are. Definitely, yeah. Even though it's, uh, if say, that things go worse tonight, we don't get, get through, it's still been a cracking season, though, hasn't it? Of course, really, it's been a yeah. brilliant season for us. Fantastic, yeah. And you got anything to say to David Moyes? All well, the best yeah. tonight, lad. Nothing more needs to be said, does it? Uh, David Moyes, great guy. I'm not predicting anything, just a good game. But whatever happens, he's done a fantastic job this season, and we're proud of him. Yeah, yeah, as well. well, finishing fourth in the league is, uh, brilliant. is absolutely brilliant, isn't it? Brilliant. Irrespective yeah. of what happens tonight. Yeah. First yeah. season in this division and they finish fourth is absolutely brilliant. And we love him to bits. Because on the eighth day, God made David Moyes. Moyes. <laughs> so, yeah. Do you think it would be good, though, to get to Cardiff, though, at the end of the day? Definitely. Oh, Definitely. Yeah. We, yeah. We'll get there. We'd love to get yeah. there. We yeah. would. But whatever happens tonight, we're, we're absolutely proud of him and yeah. the team. The team yeah. have done brilliant for him. Well, I'm happy if they got one, then finished them off in extra time, really, or penalties. I don't really want it to go to extra time or penalties, but they're a strong team, Birmingham, and I just want Preston to win now. So. And who do you think is going to score for Preston? 
uh, McEnohealy. But you think that one goal, you think it's going to go to right down to the wire then? Do you think extra time penalties is going to be the, the way it's going to go? Could be, yeah. Uh, close game, I think. Very close game. And if they get through, are you going to Cardiff? Yeah. Yeah. since the start of the 60s has Preston felt prouder. Deepdale is rolling back the years and looking to the future. It's full, it's big time, it's how it used to be, it's how it could be again. year for two famous clubs 50 years since Preston were last promoted to the top flight 21 years since Birmingham last went up to the top division so whose party do you expect it to be Rob? I think if Birmingham can keep it solid particularly in the first 20 minutes they're strong they've got a great advantage in their lead I could see Birmingham winning this or certainly not getting beaten providing they're professional and do what do the job right out by Kidd on by Gregan We've got a shot from Martin O'Connor, skipper to skipper, shoulder to shoulder. Back and try to turn. Made in by Anderson. Now in for Healy! Didn't get any vigour behind the left-footed shot. First big chance of the night for Preston. Superb passing movement, little ball turned inside there. Plays it right into Healy's run, and Healy really should be tucking that one away. Preston certainly feel with uh, a greater foothold in the match, but it is upon them that uh, the responsibility falls to make something of it. It is they who are chasing the tie. Played in by Healy, away by Atherton in the nick of time, came to Gregan. Down the line by Alexander. Alexander again. Rankin, Rankin! Good effort. Yeah, it's a good spell of pressure now for Preston. They're putting the passes in. And they're working the ball in towards the penalty box. Rankin, he played centre forward in his time early on, and that's a fortunate for Birmingham that Perth didn't handle that. The Preston people are like little hornets fizzing at them. And unfortunately, Birmingham can't get the ball up to the front players and make it stick. They could do with a few balls sticking up front to buy them a bit of time. Preston uh, really getting some pressure together here. They have in Macken and Healy, arguably the hottest pair in the first division right now to deal with. Shouts of handball, but lashed in by Healy. While those around him dozed, Healy kept his mind on the job and let go an instinctive right for the drive which brings parity to the tie. It's been coming, there's been all sorts of panic in the Birmingham back line. There's a suggestion of handball, Healy doesn't wait, and he hooks him, let, is it Granger, I think it was? Granger certainly probably would have been a penalty, or should have been, but it doesn't need it. What a good finish from Healy. But that has been coming, the Birmingham back line is all over the show at the moment. One and a half million pounds he cost from Manchester United midway through this season and how that might repay that money. Gregan. Held up for Edwards. Scraped away to Horsfield. Who's given it away to Rankin. Rankin thought about having a pop. He didn't in the end. He left it to Gregan! Bennett had it off behind him. 
I'll bet Trevor's livid with his front players at the moment, the way they're dismissing the ball. When Horsfield back in the defensive area, he gives it away, and we said earlier, this fella can lash them, gets a deflection as well. Marcelo. Lazaridis couldn't get up ahead of steam that time, but Sir Granger's right behind him. Now Stan Lazaridis. Lifted in towards Marcelo, could cut the horse field! All the goal to Amac, and he hit bullseye. Birmingham have Cardiff in their sights again, and perhaps the Premiership in their sights again. was going through the middle. He was hurried by the immediate presence on his shoulder of two or three Birmingham defenders, I and think, he scuffed the shot. I think he thinks he's going to get tucked down here. I know he makes the sort of gesture, but he's, he's scalped that, he's scuffed it. The presence of the defenders, there's nobody caught him there. The shots of handball against Danny Sonner, and a penalty has been given. He cannot believe it, but Paul Danson is going to wave it away, and you've got to say he's got it right. Alexander has hit the crossbar, having had a hitherto perfect record from the spot for Preston this season. Graham Alexander has rattled the woodwork from 12 yards. Still keep the ball, they must keep the ball here. Lazaridis. And again, Lazaridis, chance to finish it here. Goalkeeper's pushed him wide. Lazaridis has squeezed it right across goal. Well, that was tantalising. He's played a great one-two, Lazaridis, there with Marcelo. Going round the keeper, almost got a nick off the keeper for a penalty. And try to squeeze it in from the tightest of angles. Oh, they could have slept easy if they scored because it's not over yet. Macken. Good save, Rankin! The time beckons! Utter ecstasy! Mark Rankin, fit again, hero for the night! Nearly 92 minutes! And David Moyes still sniffs the Premiership! Slack, they played it, they persevered, they passed the way in. Ian Bennett blocks the first one, can't get the parry. And Rankin, good midfield player that he is, has gambled. First touch, and whoo, unbelievable. Macken, cut out by Granger. Stoppage time at the end of stoppage time. Lazaridis. Horsfield let it go. McKenna, how much more time is the referee going to allow here? Macken let it run. Rankin can turn. Rankin's pass. Cartwright. Cartwright's cross. Came to McKenna. What a hit! Oh, and what a stop! Gregan hit one with terrific force. Well, it's set into his path. We know this fella can dip them, and he has hit them. Could have been going over, but Bennett can't afford to take that chance. Helps it just to make doubly sure. And it was the last action of the second half, which came to a breathless finale with Mark Rankin's match-saving equaliser. 2-1 to Preston on the night. 2-2 on aggregate, we have 30 more minutes. They have got a few in their side, Preston, who are natural penalty takers. Rankin has taken them in the past, Healy and Macken have both proved themselves from the spot at various levels. Murdoch playing it in. Rankin 
It was a real chance, a real chance, all on his own, unattended. Well, Rankin has spent the last 15 minutes of normal time, and this, virtually playing as a centre forward, great opportunity that. But how the Blues defenders keep losing him. Oh, that scandals. Gary Clay far too cheaply, Martin Granger. Maybe to Gregan, it's played in towards Cartwright! Who calls better to go hurling himself down at the near post. Yeah, not the easiest one to hit, Cartwright's done well. It does sometimes cover point during uh, extra time when teams agree a sort of unspoken stalemate, but uh, that point doesn't seem to have arrived just yet. Still Richard Cresswell waiting on the bench. Well, the game has been played all the way through at a tremendous tempo. Edwards. Why not? Oh, good save. Why not indeed? Terrific half volley left footed from Rob Edwards. Oh, great effort. Takes it out of his feet. We know he's got a good left foot. He's put a bit of cut on that one as well. And uh, for Marks the Bennett, steers it over the top. The big effort of extra time. Determined that it shouldn't go as far as penalty kicks. Alexander playing it in. Good one to the back post as well. Charged out by Sonner. In again by McKenna. Clear from Woodhouse. Edwards. Healy. Purse away. Healy again. Healy turning. Good save again by Bennett. Rankin. And Bennett can claim. What an important extra time period Ian Bennett has had. And this fella sharp in the box. There's little or nothing there. Turns, hits it towards goal. We are dealing in seconds and fractions of seconds now. Forty-eight games each will now come down to five kicks of the football each. It's penalties for a place in the first division playoff final. This is interesting. I think Trevor Francis is having a word with the referee about which end the penalties are taken. He's incensed. I'm guessing that they should be being prepared in front of a great bank of Preston supporters when at the other end there's an empty end which might appear to Trevor Francis to seem more neutral. taking the penalties at the other end of the ground and he is taking them off now because the referee has reversed what he seems to perceive to be the original decision and he's not prepared to take them until a further debate has taken place and Trevor Francis is leading his players away again he's got to be careful I guess he's obviously got a very strong point to make I mean what he's doing, uh, as for me, is unprecedented. But is he in danger of forfeiting a game? Finally, it appears to Paul Danson. He's got to get the shootout underway. It's Preston first up. It's a very good penalty from Graham Alexander. Second time lucky. That's how he's taken them the whole season long. For a one moment, I thought it was almost a carbon copy of the one in normal time. Just fractionally below good top. Marcelo, who's had the best chances in normal time in both ties to settle it in Birmingham's favour. Hit the crossbar at St Andrews with a head. And has his penalty saved. 
by David Lucas, advantage Preston. Struck at a nice height for the keeper, side-footed. If you're going to put him there, you've got to whack him. Nervous, nervous times. David Healy. No mistake, very, very good, very calm, ideally placed. You would trust Darren Burse. He has scored a high-pressure penalty in a big cup final for Birmingham already this season. He's a big man with a big heart, but he's missed. And it's looking very, very glum for Birmingham City. That smile would light up the whole of Lancashire. It's the skipper for Preston. And if Gregan scores, then Birmingham can't afford to miss another one. Sean Gregan, the driving force of his club. Belter! Preston and David Moyes, very, very, very nearly there. Lazaridis has to score for Birmingham City. And does. It's Rob Edwards, left-footed, left-back. Birmingham have lost one cup competition on penalties this year. They were denied a place in the playoff final two years ago, also on penalties. Rob Edwards could put them out here. Edwards for Preston. Great save with his leg by Bennett. And still they hang on. Nicky Eden, again, has to score for Birmingham City. This is do or die. Do. And it goes against the odds, against the early odds, certainly, to the final kick for Preston and Trevor Francis is still debating the issue with the uh, police there who might have had a say in which end these are taken from but Paul McKenna steps forward for arguably the most important kick of a Preston football for just about half a century McKenna to take them to the final on an evening that Deep Dale will never, ever forget. You have to feel profound sympathy for Birmingham, who are confounded from the penalty spot for the third time in major competition in very recent history. But you have to feel great glee for David Moyes, for his young Preston side, for this wild footballing town on a night which is quite unforgettable. Preston go through 4-2 on penalties after two legs finish 2-2 on aggregate. Great win, David. Very good. Very excited. Uh, for us to get to Cardiff is uh, a wonderful achievement. Players have done really well. And I think they deserve a bit of play today. Really well. Fans as well. The fans as well, David. Yeah, Superb uh, tonight from start. And, uh, We've asked for it and they helped us. They, they helped us get the result. For us to score, I think it was probably an injury time was something else. It really was. It's a good one. So what do you think of the overall part of the game? Sorry? What do you think of overall the game? Is overall, overall I thought we deserved it, yeah. Hey you are. Well done, John. Well done, get in there. Get in there, man. Well done, there you go. Get in there. Great game, mate, wasn't it? Oh, it was fantastic. I mean, 
I just can't believe. We thought it was our party tonight, and it's going to be. You missed the penalty, are you? You've not missed the penalty, have you, mate? I'll put you dead cert. I'm good about it. I was good about it, but I'm just glad that I've got the last, got a chance to put it right. And what about the fans tonight? Superb, oh, mate. Tonight. I'll tell you, I didn't think they could make it as loud as the first leg, but they did, I'm telling you. They made it for us tonight, I'll tell you. And you're going to enjoy Cardiff then when you get oh, down there? I'll tell you. We're going to enjoy it and hopefully we'll win it. I feel fantastic. I feel fantastic. Tonight. Oh, brilliant, yeah. I think we've deserved it, you know. Uh, I think, don't think uh, Birmingham gives a lot of respect, you know, some of the things I've seen in the papers, like uh, we've got unfinished business in Cardiff, so, you know, we're with underdogs and uh, we've had a great night, we're going to enjoy it. Are you going to ask Trevor Francis, because we heard he's already booked their hotel, are you going to take over now? Doesn't matter, doesn't matter if we stay in caravans, we're going to go there and enjoy it, and like we've had come in and enjoy this, play with the right attitude, and uh, you never know now, we're, one, we're three games away last week, we're one game now. And what about the fans tonight? Absolutely superb. Oh, brilliant. I mean, they always are. I mean, it's just a shame the town ends being down, but you know what I mean? Never mind. All right, see you in Cardiff. Thanks, mate. Cheers, Sean. <laughs> the players deserve all the credit to keep going as they did right to the end to get the goal right in the dying seconds. Magnificent, magnificent spirit we've got. Everybody's got this club together. It's a, it's a club that's got a bit of soul about it. And good luck. Superb night for Preston North End. It's been a fantastic night. I think none of us could imagine what night it's going to be. I think particularly having watched Liverpool last night and to see a game like this tonight, the ups and downs. No, we deserved it. I think um, we had the will and ultimately I think we were going to win and we deserved it. <laughs>